Today, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your monitor. Now, this is something that is usually overlooked in every optimization video or just in general when speaking about reducing input delay in Fortnite and also literally any video game you play on PC. So today, I'm here to save you and all these settings are actually on your monitor. So you don't do them internally on your PC or on your desktop. You do them on the actual monitor itself physically. There'll be like buttons on the back and I'll show you how it's done. So if this helps, drop a like, subscribe. Let's see how fast we can get 100 likes on this video. Wait, don't be alarmed. I'm jumping in to give a shout out from my sponsor, Trust Dice, the number one rated crypto casino and sports book on Trustpilot that offers a wide range of games like Dice, Crash, Sweet Bonanza, and the classics Blackjack, Roulette, and more. You can bet on sports and even esports titles such as Valorant, Call of Duty, and League of Legends tournaments if your region allows it. Trust Dice provides a faucet that allows you to claim free currency every six hours as well as other bonuses to reward you for playing. But please remember, but gambling is a risk. Do not gamble with money you can't afford to lose and understand that success is not guaranteed. All right, getting straight into this, what you want to do is locate the buttons on your monitor. Mine is on the back far right hand side right at the bottom um you want to click there should be like a bigger button they all should feel a little different but what we're going to do is just click in you you, you can figure this out it's a little fiddly at the start we're going to open up into your main settings or menu first of all, we're going to start with our picture settings so brightness have that kept at like its default range for it should be 100 percent. if not i think you should just up it to 100 percent. don't go over this someone says we'll let you do that it's not worth it contrast you want to keep that on um 50 i have mine set to 50 again these are more subjective they're not really going to affect the performance of game too much unless you start bumping them up over their like default values really dropping them won't be much of an issue though blue light i have this off you may not have this option but ideally yes turn it off it just sounds awful in general um black boost turn this off this is gonna affect your performance majorly and you don't need it i think it actually just makes your game look bad so if this has been on i think by default it tends to be on take it off you'll thank me later or you'll thank me now it's, it's gonna make a big difference you'll see it atm turn that off hr definitely turn this off it's gonna affect your performance greatly super sharpness turn that off you don't need it a lot games will let you sharpen your game and you can do it in a video control panel this will just create a lot of latency and ideally you don't even want to do it there because again it will affect performance nonetheless it's just better to do it there going down to color gamma i have mine set to 22 it looks like 2.2 but i'm gonna say 22 i can't tell if there's a dot in between um i think there must be you can mess with that it isn't gonna make much of a difference again let's just say 2.2 actually i think that is definitely a dot moving on color temp i have mine set to warm it combats the natural blue light that your monitor will produce nonetheless even if you turn off blue light i have mine on warm i think it's nice it doesn't actually make my whole monitor like yellowy bear in mind so you can try that out for yourself modes don't mess with that these are presets and what we're doing now is customizing this so you're in good hands color space keep that on standard because it's going to produce the best colors nonetheless if you start upping this you're going to get some performance issues grayscale mode obviously have this off unless you want to play in black and white maybe that's the strat moving down to audio just turn the volume off like you don't need the volume on your monitor unless you actually use it for the most part you don't need it just turn it off it's not needed moving down to gaming now this is uh the good stuff the very important stuff overdrive i have mine set to normal you can change it to extreme but what's gonna happen is your monitor will start ghosting if you have different like refresh rate or latency or response time settings it may literally be called response time opposed to overdrive keep on the standard don't up it some of you guys may have levels so it may say like level one level two or like extreme or fastest no don't trust it you're gonna get ghosting and your monitor will like kind of sheer kind of it, it would just not look good and it also may black out there'll be screen tearing adaptive sync anything with the name sync on it adaptive sync v-sync turn that off refresh rate number turn that off you literally do not need it it's a waste of performance ultra low latency vrb also make sure that's off mine's grayed out because of the other settings ultra low latency have this turned on if you have the option have it turned on if you don't have ultra low latency in here don't worry about it and to clarify your response time setting so like basically the equivalent of overdrive doesn't correlate with this so don't worry about that don't think setting that to fastest is going to be the pretty much the equivalent of having this set to on no if you don't have it don't worry about it you can actually enable this in other ways through things like the nvidia control panel it won't be directly on your monitor or through your monitor technology but it's a similar kind of vibe um again only 240 hertz i think monitors have this but if you can turn it on aim point have this off you don't need it there's tools you can actually use that i think are better honestly for performance i can't verify that but i just see no pros using this so let's just go with the general consensus and assume it is awful osd just have everything 
everything set to what I've got here. You don't want anything additional on your screen showing. And OSD, I think in this case, just refers to this here. You, you don't want to adjust, like you don't need to. It's really not worth it. System, now we're down to input. We're not going to mess with any of this. It does a good job of like auto sourcing and kind of detecting this for itself. So you won't need to change it, but make sure it does say DP. If it doesn't say DP, it means you do not have a display port cable and it probably will say like HDMI, for example. That's bad. You need to actually upgrade. Go and get a DP cable. It will mean you're getting your monitor's lowest latency and the best response time. You're getting your actual refresh rate opposed to, you know, HDMI's do not support 144 hertz. So if you have 144 hertz and this says HDMI, it's a problem. Go and get a DP cable. You'll notice a huge, a huge change in your response time. Wide mode, obviously have that on full. If that is not on full, I think you would have known by now. Everything else, um, yeah, just kind of copy my settings here. It really is that simple. Also, power off USB charge. You want to like change any these like display sleep mode settings and just turn them off. They are power saving settings and we do not want to save power in this case. All right, I'm switching over to the audio on my phone for this one, but right here I'm on a different monitor just to show you the different settings because I thought, why not? There's literally three monitors here, but you may have something called color control. It depends on your monitor. Again, this is a HP color control. It's a similar kind of thing here. You can actually just like viewing modes. Just ensure this is set to custom, very similar vibe to what I shown before, but basically everything else we set here will control that and dictate take the outcome. Image control is important. Dynamic contrast, have that set to off. Black stretch, have that set to off. Response time, now this is what I was talking about in relation to the ultra low latency overdrive thing. This is like equivalent to overdrive. This is actually 144 hertz. So this may be more common for you guys. I don't have 240, but yeah, have it on the default. Do not trust where it says fast and fastest. It's not gonna give you better response time. It's just gonna make your game ghost or your display ghost and it will feel very horrible. Trust me, try it out. It's, it's not nice. And I guess why I'm here. I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to show you my NVIDIA settings for my display. Actually, I'll show you my windows. I was just going to go all out on display optimizations. I thought this was potentially going to be quite self-explanatory, but we may as well show them nonetheless, just in case. Um, but if you go into your display settings on windows and go to advanced display settings, ensure this is set to the highest refresh rate, of course. And if you go into display adapter properties for your display, go here and um, go to monitor. Also make sure this is set to the highest hertz. And now jumping into my control panel, if we go to adjust desktop color settings or sorry, change resolution. Let's go to that first under the display section, change resolution. What you want to do is make sure that is on your native res. So it should say in brackets native here, but if it doesn't just go with 1920 by 1080, um, actually yeah, right at the top here, it says native refresh rate again, set it to the highest use default color settings here. Then go down to adjust desktop color settings. I personally sometimes up the digital vibrance. You may not need to do that, but if you're gonna, I wouldn't recommend changes any more than over 75 and then moving down to adjust desktop size and position have this set to no scaling if you do not use stretch resolution and perform scaling on your display. If it only says GPU, so I think my other monitor here only says GPU, yes. This is my secondary monitor. It doesn't support display scaling. That is a problem. It's going to give me lower latency and that's why I don't use it. If you do not have display scaling, you should actually upgrade your monitor at some point. That'll be another beneficial upgrade alongside getting a DP cable. 